it's awkward because no one knows this about me either. The silence is deafening. No? No? <laughs> Every, they, they, the always, they, they put me in front of these players and I'm like, <laughs> never again, never again. <laughs> Yes, people, I'm Morph. Welcome to Pro Direct's brand new show, Ballers. The show where we have unfiltered conversations with the men's and women's favourites across the beautiful game. Today, I am joined by Aston Villa superstar, drum roll. Feel free to join in with the drum roll if you want. My hands are too cold, sorry, I'll watch you. Rachel Daly! Woo! How are you doing today? Good, thank you. How are you? Cold? Yeah, I'm good, but I did chip my tooth. Oh, no, on the weekend, on. I was on a night out and oh, I was dancing. Yeah, yeah. We won't, we won't get into it. We won't get into that. So, welcome to Ballers. Thank you. Think of this as like a therapy session meets an interrogation meets you're meeting your best mate for the first time. Don't know how they all work and go hand in hand, but I'm here for it. We go anywhere on yeah, this show. Yeah, we'll roll with it. We want to see a different part of Rachel. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck you into the deep end. Right. Describe yourself to me. This is what I mean with the therapy thing. Um. <laughs> Describe myself. I think I'm. And be honest. Outgoing. I'm yeah. very outgoing. I don't, I don't know. I don't okay. know how to describe myself. How would your family describe you? Loud, bubbly, funny. Are you the person in like the dressing room? Like when people are feeling low, you come in like yeah, energy. I, I would say like jokes though. Like and some people just aren't here for it. Are they like you know when someone's like in a mood? Yeah. And you make a joke and then it just makes them worse. Is the joke about them? No, nah, because I'm like that when it I'm like, go on, cheer up, yeah. and they're like, just leave me alone. Yeah, and I'm, I don't know when my cue is to go, so that's why. why so I'm someone has to tell you that, like, Rach, not today. Yeah, you not should, today. Just put your foot in it. You should probably get out there. <laughs> and obviously, football is as much as the mental side as the physical. What inspires you each time you're playing? I just think, like, back to where I came from, like my roots, and like, I didn't, we didn't have it easy when I was a kid. Mm. Um, growing up, playing football wasn't a thing, like. Where did you grow up? Uh, Harrogate, a small town up north in Yorkshire. Um, but I think, you know, for girls in general, mm. back then it wasn't really a thing. Um, so I kind of just remind myself like where I've come from, how far I've got and, mm. and where I am today and in such a fortunate position. And growing up in that environment where the opportunities weren't as present as they are yeah. today, what spurred you to keep going? Because there's got to be something inside you when Passion, people were saying no, yeah. you're like, let me in. Well, that's something I do anyway. Like. Wet paint, don't touch. I'm the first one to give it a tap. But, nice. Uh, no, I think, yeah, passion. I think you've got to have that deep within yourself somewhere that, you know, pushes you on to do something. There's so many things that you want to do, but you never achieve them because it's not really your passion. You just want to do it. But I think for me, it was just like that deep-rooted passion. That I was like, I'm going to be a footballer, whether I get paid, whether I don't get paid, whether it's mm. a career, whether it's a hobby, like, I'm doing it. When was, like, the moment where you're like, I'm a baller, I'm sick, I'm taking everyone down? Is there like a moment no, you remember or like a tournament, like No, because I don't think I've ever felt like that. What? Yeah, uh, I don't think I've ever had that feeling, except I would say probably when I was aware I was maybe a better player was when I was like nine, 10 playing with the boys mm. and like they used to want me on their team. Yeah. And I was like that, yeah, that's sick. Like the boys want you on the team, they're picking you over good male players. So yeah. I think it's like those little moments where you're just like, yeah, I'm all right. Who were you taking down when you were nine? Do you remember like any of their names? You know, there's always that school person. Where you're yeah, like, but they were all mates, so I didn't care. Yeah. Like, I was mates with them all, so yeah. <laughs> okay, flipping on his head. If you weren't a baller, what would you be? I got asked I this mean, question the today, iconic, right? There's the iconic Euros clip where you're singing. Yeah, no, <laughs> I would not be a singer. Um, Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> I, had the, I got asked this question today. I actually don't know, but like, I love like, I'm really like hands on. Like, mm. I like. I bought a house, whatever, like to do stuff with it, like, yeah. but I actually like the building side, like, so yeah, maybe so something like that. I can't be sat in an office all day. Yeah, I saw on your Instagram you like to build Lego. Yeah, it's, it's all right, but I'm on to bigger, better things, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. real things. Real things, like building what? Houses building, and building, and building, no. building, <laughs> building houses and no, cars. I'm I like to be, like, hands-on, like, I like to just, I just need to be active. I've got quite an active brain, so. That's like me, can't, I can't sit, sit still. still. It's like no. an ADHD, yeah, yeah, like, all, all over the shop. Yeah. Okay, okay. What's your earliest memory of football? Like, whether it's growing up watching it, and who did you support growing up? That's why, why did you say it like that? Because I still support them now. I'm just, I'm just, I just Do people ask. change? Don't trust them, do you? 
I'm one of those people. Uh, what? I, 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 did you support? I support a lot of different teams. The silence is deafening. It's because I'm from... It's because, right, my dad gave me my team, which is United. I'm, I'm not surprised you changed, to be fair. Uh, and I'm born in Southampton, so I feel like there's that home thing that I should support them. No, I disagree. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I grew up... <laughs> and I never I grew up and I again. still massively support Leeds United. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, sometimes, yeah. But no, uh, yeah. My earliest memory was just playing with my dad and my brother in the, in the, you know, in the back garden in the park, and mm. just went on from there, really. Do you have any like impactful figures in your life that have been with you across your kind of like footballing? Journey? Yeah, my dad, hundred percent. He, he like gave me my love for football. Mm. Taught me how to play it. I t learned everything about life with the ball at my feet through him. So, not with us today, but. Um, yeah, he 100% gave me everything to to play and, yeah. and and shine. And he was a great footballer himself. So. Yeah, love that. Yeah. And do you think you're a different person on pitch and off pitch? Because I've watched you play and it's like you've got like tunnel vision. Yeah, 100%. I think a lot of people in my whole life have always misread who I am because of how I am on the pitch. Mm. Um, but off the pitch, yeah, very different. How do you think you, how do you, think you are perceived on pitch? Like a psycho. Yeah? yeah. I think that's quite a good way to yeah. be perceived, no? Crazy. Yeah? And it's like an alter ego, isn't it? Yeah. What would your alter ego be called? Maybe like Raquel. Oh, I like that. Raquel. Feisty, Raquel the Rocket. No? No? <laughs> Who is this girl? <laughs> they, they, always, this they, they put me in front of these players and I'm like, <laughs> never again, never again. Is there anyone in an opposite team you look forward to playing against where you're like, you're like hungry for it? I think you want to play against the best, don't you? So Any I mean, names you want to throw out? Obviously, there? my best friend is Millie Bright. Yeah. And she's like the best of the best, isn't she? So I like, I don't know. I can't say I like playing against her because we just laugh. Yeah. Like we can't take each other, so I just laugh. What about in the tunnel? Any like trash talk? No, I just give her a hug. <laughs> really nice. Good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Or maybe that, that could be a tactic. Yeah, no, do you as know well. what? I never say good luck to people before the game, ever. Ever? Ever. Why is it you like know, a you bad? People like, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Well, why? Yeah. That is what, true. Why, do you, why am I giving you good bad luck? Bad luck, bad luck, bad <laughs> luck, bad luck. My energy is good luck for me. Mm. My team. How do you prep on like game day? Have you got like, when you wake up? Yeah, I'm a bit of a psycho. I go to it, Raquel starts at like Raquel eight in the wakes morning. up and you look in the mirror and you go, Raquel's here. No, I have like quite a bit of a, I'm quite routine on game day. Like everything okay. has to be quite particular. Um, so I have my pre-match my, my pre meals the same, it has been for years, which is four Weetabix and four sugars. Okay. If it's not four, bad day. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going okay. back to the shop and getting more. I would not want to be in your household no. if there's like three left. You're like, where is it? Honestly. I mean, my, my at Villa, the um, nutritionist and the chef, they've travelled now with my own bowl. Because <laughs> four Weetabix, yeah, you can't have yeah. it in a little bowl. Yeah. Because then you can't get the milk in and it's rock hard. And then you go to a hotel and they give you the little bowl or like a massive like yeah. fruit bowl. Is so this like your, like your toxic trait, the Weetabix? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay, so four Weetabix in the morning and then what? No, that's it. That's On it. On game day, that's yeah, that's it, yeah. I, that's I, it. No, like, music in your ears? Oh, music oh, on game day? I want, 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 I want the full Rachel Daly okay. routine. All right, so, like, home game, yeah? So, whatever, wake up whenever, it doesn't really matter about that. But. Look in the mirror and go, Raquel. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the car, go to the, we go to the training ground, so uh -huh. eat there first, so I eat there. I have game day underwear. Mm -hmm. That, like, that is, that is bad. If that's not around, like, I go... Bad omen. My head spins. <laughs> if I, I had to drive, like, an hour, because I left them at another house, like, because I went to my other house to come back the night before a game once, chaos. So superstitious. Anyway. Are your teammates, like, chill? No, they, they, like, they, they don't, do no, they don't all know do. about this. Oh, okay. They don't all know about well, it. Well, they, so they do now. They do now. Um... Yeah, so there's that, and then I have, have my pre-match, and then I drive to the game, and I listen to the same four songs. So I can listen to any songs, but I just have to listen, no matter what part of the journey, it's usually the beginning, four songs in the same order, every game. Go on, what the songs? What do you think the songs are? Like, you, what, give, give me an example of what you think I would listen to. Um, I'm feeling like Kanye West. Down, 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 I'll tell you. Now, now. Number one is Celine Dion, River Deep, Mountain High. OK. Number two... Um, Without me, Eminem. Ooh. No, not without me. When I'm gone, Eminem. When I'm gone. That's a complete lie. It's because I've just heard that upstairs. When I'm gone, Eminem. 
And when I'm gone, just carry on. Yeah, it's really sad. Rejo- yeah, okay. And then the next one is Unstoppable by Sia. Okay. Which oh um, yeah. And then the next one is The Champion by um, Carrie Underwood and Ludacris. What is that tune? You should have to listen to it, mate. So yeah, because that goes quite like that. So it's like you start like all cheery, then you, you get proper emo, <laughs> then it's like yeah. kind of gun fingers, and then it's like, I'm, and then it's I'm, like yeah. game face. Yeah. Do you ever play those four songs in in the changing rooms? No, no. Or was that just for you? No, and that's you me. Only? That's me. That's me. Are it's you ever in, on the orcs? Yeah, yeah, I'm this room? year. Yeah. Okay, go on. What what, what type of like flavour of tune? No, you, you can't. No, because everyone has a different taste, don't they? So it's actually the worst job in the world. Okay, but what are you, you putting on? I like like. Left Outside Alone by Anastasia and stuff like that. Quite emo. No, no. <laughs> Evanescence? No, not that dark. Uh, what else I got? Uh, what about like... Um, any like dancey tunes? No, our team song that everyone loves at the minute is... Um, it's Natasha Bedingfield, I think. I'm written. Rest is still humming. Da, 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 da. Is that the one? Feel the rain on your skin. Yeah, that one. No. Oh, that's a banger. Yeah, is that's there... everyone's like... Loves that at the minute in there. Is that as you're leaving the change room? You're like, there's no Bob room. That's it. Nah. And then we had a while where we were all going that. Like, yeah. Oh, in your TikTok era. Yeah, yeah but no, did. but the girls you're loved like, it. No, and they're like, before. let's do this as a celebration. So but it didn't happen. I don't think we scored for a while. <laughs> <laughs> what is your? Have you got a celebration dance? No. Maybe you should make one. No, I change it up every time. Really? Depending on what? Is it the type of goal you scored? Is it? So when where I scored against at? Man United at home this year. I was driving past the Belfry, which is a golf course yeah. near me. And then I was like, oh, who's going to do that? It's James Ward Prowse celebration. Yeah, you should know Wayne. that, Southampton. <laughs> yeah, so I just did my claim to fame. Straight into the stands. So, no, it changes. Changes. We've really gone off track there. Yeah, I know, but this is, but this, this is the point of this show. This is what I mean by therapy meets interrogation. Do you want to go back to me and your best friends on that? Yeah, of course I do. You actually want to know? Yeah, further. of course. Okay, so like... Where did I get to my music? Well, wait, we went Weetabix, yeah. then we went So the this songs. one's a weird one, this one's a weird one. Go on. Like, if I go to the toilet when I arrive, I like, go for a wee. Yeah. In the changing rooms, I have to only go in that toilet. Okay. So, like, if I, like, go warm up and come back in, like, if someone's in there, I've got to, like, wait until... Are you banging down the toilet? No, like, it, no, because it's awkward because no one knows this about me either. So, like, say there's You're two really here, right? You're a lot. I know. <laughs> say there's two toilets here, someone's in that one, someone's in that one. That person comes out. Yeah. I'll wait. OK. So, when people are like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, sh- Oh, I just forgot something. So, just, just so your, I could be just waiting like ten minutes. Being, oh, she's a bit, a bit odd. She's odd, a bit, yeah. she's a bit odd. So is yeah. that your? Is that all your superstitions? Do just, you have anything with boots? Because obviously we've got the new. No, preds. I actually don't. I think <laughs> I've got like weird things, but and they're not superstitions. But I just have to do them. But... Gone, gone. What's the weird thing? No, like I have to do things like, in order. Like I've got to take my energy gel at a certain time. I only drink half a Red Bull before a warm up and then half after. Yeah, but routine's good. Yeah. Structure. It's weird, it's weird. There's loads, I'm not going into it anymore. What's, okay, what's the, what's the weirdest? I think I've just told you a few. I mean, I might start doing the four Weetabix thing. Yeah, you should. Yeah, maybe I'll finally, finally be good at football, if I do I'm that. not sure that's what happens. Yeah, just four Weetabix, extra training, and that. yeah, that's, all, fine, that's all yeah. I need. Exactly. I'll hit you up and be like, I'm sick now, and you're like, no, you're not. Yeah, I have to see video. Right, the Preds, the iconic boots, you've changed over to them. How are they? Amazing, they're sick, I love them. Like, as soon as I saw them, I think it was like last year, mm. on a shoot, and I was like... It's me back to you my like, roots, you know what I mean? This is yeah. like my childhood, like Beckham era and mm. Zidane. Um, so the I think, goats. Yeah. Do you smell your boots when you first get them, the new boots? No. No. See, I said this to people now, I was like... Like, you know when you like, have a book and you smell it and it's like a smell? New boots have that... See, uh, nah. You see, you can't, you can't be like, oh, I'm, I'm weird and odd and not smell I am boots. weird, but I don't smell like... What do they smell like? God, have a whiff. Nothing, really. Goat status, that's what it smells like. It smells like my feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but new boots, new boots. No, I don't, to be honest. So growing up, Preds were like yeah. the boots. I was saying I had one pair of F50s. You know the ones with like the spider web on? Yeah. But oh, Preds, Preds all the way. All the way. How do you feel when you're wearing them when you're on pitch? You know, I couldn't feel my feet today. Yeah, it's freezing. It's <laughs> no, you do, that, you I, do that model. To be fair, I think they're like perfect for me because they're like lightweight. So like the Predators, obviously yeah. when you were younger, they were heavy, weren't they? So I think like it's now like a modern mm. lightweight feel and it just looks sick. Do you have any rituals with your boots? 
at all. Like, do you put your left sock on before no, you ride? No, like, I don't the way you actually. lace it. No, but you, no, thanks for that, because now you're going to make it. <laughs> get in your head, you're going to go home like, what do I do with these boots? Yeah, no. But another superstition, actually, is really weird. Go on. So, my socks. Yeah. Get, like, I used to wear, like, high socks. And then got quite big calves and Lucy Sanifor's team player on my team one day mm. went to me like playing Tottenham away she went you should wear low socks like Greenish because you've got sick calves yeah I was like nah I nah, like, possibly couldn't can't do that also you with the short socks like so, here I am so here I am here I am roll the socks, the socks down <laughs> try, tried them and scored and played well like scored a couple so this is going to be so that's what I do okay. so that's the problem is like if I play well everything that I've done the day before I have to do the next day the next game but if I have a bad game, it's just wash. I'm going to do that as well now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Everything you do, I'm going to do. And then see if I'm a baller. <laughs> After this, you're going to be like, no. going to cut all my hair off. OK, same. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out of the pitch. Hey, <laughs> you're like, leave me alone. OK, in terms of the boots, tongue laced or laceless, what do you prefer? 100% tongue. Tongue. So like. no, no, that's a lie because I I don't like laces. I think because it's like my my hands are cold. Yeah. I like my, when I was obviously with the exes. I had mm. um, sounded weird, didn't I? With my exes. <laughs> yeah, my exes. Back with the exes. Not that time like, of guys. Were, oh, <laughs> they were laceless and they're just so easy and they slip them on. Yeah. Just when your hands are cold. But I can't. I, I couldn't have a predator without a tongue. Look how sick they are. Yeah, they are sick. Can I? What, have you washed your hands? Yeah. Alright, you're fine. Sick. <gasps> Oh, they are. Yeah. They're nice, aren't they? So I have to have lace, uh, laces because I love the tongue. Even even this bit. Mm. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Careful. I don't like this, you know, putting new new boots on a table. It's bad luck. It's so superstitious. Yeah, it's um, bad luck though, isn't it? But yeah, to be no. fair, I did wear them for five minutes. So. How well? No. Took them for the spin. It's going to be a good luck now. Yeah. Good luck. Um, obviously, we spoke about music. What is your like go-to like genre? I oh, see it's ever changing. Yeah? What is like, it right this minute? Well, I don't know because I just don't think they make music like they used to. Oh, you're one of those? Yeah, they don't, they don't. Yeah? But. Who were like the, who were, like, the greats for you? When you're like, oh, they don't make music like they used to. Just to me, it's like though. Destiny's Child. Yeah, so like people. The Ushers. Like, yeah, like old school R&B was cool. Like even like, like I just said to you, like Natasha Bedingfield, like stuff like that, like mm. Maroon 5. <gasps> you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, no, nah, they just don't do it. Anymore. Oh, yeah. Why is that? Did she bring that back? But I like a bit of a bit of everything at the minute. Yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah. And obviously, you've got tats. What's your favourite? See, this is the, this is where the best friend kicks in. Because I've got the world's worst tattoos. Oh, is it? I've got an infinity sign on the back of my neck. So I used to be obsessed with Tumblr. I've got more on my arm because my friend was practicing. He was. I was like, oh, I want to do more in life. Is that more? And then I've got a dinosaur on the back of my leg because I look quite stumpy. Nice. Like a, yeah. What about you? <laughs> well, I've got a lot, to be fair. Yeah. Um, I'll probably say my favourite one is because it's meaningful. It's for my dad. This yeah. whole arm is like my family arm, to be fair. Um, but yeah, the, I like. I love the detail in it. Have you got any and regret? Yeah. Because sometimes but they're I can't those. Tell you. I can't tell you they, they're camera. the best stories. I can't tell you on camera, I can't reveal it to kids. To kids? Wow, oh, it's weird, isn't it? We can make this 18 plus. Go on, give me give me a dance around the story. So I was drunk. Yeah. Really drunk on Where? a boat. In my off season in I'm gonna say COS or like Malia. Hey, what the hell I went there last year? Did Cos, you? Yeah. See? But no, it was a long, long time ago. Yeah. I was young and stupid. Um on a boat, on <laughs> like it on a lake it, in between Arizona and California. Sick. Beautiful, yeah. That, but then, yeah. But this like, is then, it. Yeah, the ones you regret have the best stories. Yeah, it was the best day. It was a really good day. I've got yeah. a picture of me. Would you do it again? No. Would we get matching tattoos? No. <sighs> One day. Got a picture Trent of me sisters. on the boat with this, or in the back of this car, yeah. on the way to the boat, this like neon yellow hat that says YOLO on it. So I didn't remember having that hat. Yeah. I remember the story of why I had that hat on, whose hat it was. Yeah. Anyway, it's so... A, it's, it's a good story. A, so I... I'm on the boat all day when yeah. I get back to the hotel. Were you drinking out of a watermelon? A Feels like that. No, I don't, I don't, I don't maybe. OK, <laughs> you're like, I'll look through the pics. So I got back, fell asleep, woke up, and I was like, what's that? But your mates were like... I was like, what is that? That's so... And then I was like, it's cling film. Did mate. any of your mates get any tattoos? Yeah, one of my friends uh, got the same one. The same one? But she wasn't aware of it. 
Okay, and you just woke up like... Oh it's the only God. time in my life I've ever been drunk to the point where I can't remember. <laughs> Good story. Yeah. And you get to tell it on ballers. Great. Yeah. <laughs> what advice... I don't know why I'm going like this, like I'm Italian. What advice would you give to your younger self? Um, I actually said this today. It would be to live in the moment more and not worry too much about the future and, you know, just be present because I think I probably missed out a lot in my childhood of things that I was worrying about in the future. Mm. Um, what sort it, of things were you worrying about? Like, who I am going to play for? Am I going to get picked for England? What if I don't mm. get picked for England? What if I don't get picked for this team? What if I don't do this? What if I don't do that? But it's always like, what about if? What if? What if? Rather than I can't control it, so just do you and mm. do what you can do and give everything and, you know, it'll take you as far as it can take you. And is, is that the advice you'd give for young girls who want to get into football yeah. as well? Yeah, I think because there's so much pressure on in sport nowadays, like there's so much pressure to, to achieve and, you know, especially girls, they put a lot of pressure on like what they look like and things mm. and it's sad, you know, it's you just, I think, be the best version of you, whatever that looks like, don't compare yourself to anyone else. Be you, be the best version of you, and... Mm. Off the back of, like, the Euros and the World Cup, what do you think that's done for the women's game as a whole? Yeah, it's massive, especially in this country. I think the fact that the Euros was in this country definitely helped. It, it brought the nation together. It's Everyone wants a successful story for a sports mm. team in the country, don't they? So I think it was massive for that. Um, and I think the change that's been made since then has been huge. You know, we put in the petition... Um, the parliament for mm. you know to get the kids girls more equal access to PE and I think that's massive um oh, so yeah, yeah I think sure. just it's actually made you realize that how far off it they were um but it's definitely going in the right direction and yeah I think for us it's now paving the way and, and doing what the people before us did and try and leave it yeah. leave the game in a better place than where you found it so yeah no definitely it's definitely helped massively especially with the education aspect yeah like Growing up at school, it's like you're saying, like, on the playground, like, the girls played netball yeah, and the 100%. girls played football, and it's those really simple things that can change when I was a whole generation. When I was in school, I said it the other day because I had to do a visit back at my high school. and How was that? It was cool, but, yeah, yeah it was cool, but I, I, I had to do netball and i just, you know, just be doing kick-ups on the side, like, when the teacher was just, like, setting up. And she said, for every, every time I kick one ball, I have to come back at, at a lunchtime to pump all of them up. So I was in every lunchtime pumping these balls up. So, yeah, I think it's just having that opportunity to be able to play football. Mm. Like, I was fortunate that my PE teacher on the, on the boys' side pulled me over to the boys and let me play with them um, in PE, which was I'm so grateful for because I think I learned so much yeah. as, a young, as a young girl in that environment. But Do you think that had, like, a, a ripple effect? <laughs> yeah. You know, all those, like, interactions with those, yeah, those people, those coaches? Yeah, you, you think back to them of like, okay, if they didn't see the potential yeah. that you've always known you've oh, had, yeah. like maybe things would have been different. 100%, 100%. Pick up that guy. Should we give him a round of applause? Mr. Sweetman. Yay! And what are your passions outside of football? I like to like do stuff like that, like I said, with like the house and yeah. stuff like that. But my current interest, I want to get a camper van. <gasps> yeah. Really nice. Yeah. What, and travel around? Yeah, because like, my daughter. Do yeah, no, I'm not. I ain't got time. I would love to get a big van and like do it up, but I'm quite an impulsive person. So when I want something, like, I'll, like it needs to be done. Yeah. But I've like, got a dog. Absolutely love my dog. So like, I want to take her around everywhere. What and... dog have you got? She's like a mixed bag, like a proper Heinz 57. I rescued her when I was in America. Oh. It's her birthday in two days. <gasps> Happy birthday. Thanks. Sick. What's it called? Dexie. Great name. I'm here for it. I'm you don't hear many Dexies, do you? No, how did you come up with that name? Don't know. I just wanted an X in the name. And then yeah. it's like, I don't want Roxy and like, the, you know, the traditional ones. Yeah. So I, just went, I had a dog when I was a kid called Dexter. Oh, so I just went off it. I feel like I could see a series, you and your dog doing yeah. like a tour no, of America. No, trust me, I want to write a book. I want to do. That's what I want to do, Sue. So. Write a children's 2024. book. 2024. I want to write a children's book. About with, with featuring about me and Dex, eh? Like yes, a, I can. Do you I know what? I can. I can see that for you. I made up this story one time about how she has a back. How imagine if she had a backpack? Like imagine if I dropped her off at my friend's house. I needed to pick her up. I was like, oh, just put your backpack on and get home. Yeah. So I bought her a backpack. Oh. So she's got a backpack. She oh, hates that's it. really she hates sweet. It, but it's just like you need to make yeah. these backpacks. That's what I mean, I keep coming up with these little stories in my head, and I'm like, that'd be great for a little kids' book. So you, so you can be an author? Exactly. Footballer, author. Camper van driver. Camper van driver, tattoo, R&B, singing enthusiast. 
Yeah? Right, we're going to round it up now. We're going to round it up. We're going to round it off. So we want you to pick one song to put in the Ballers playlist. Any song. It could be about your, your writing journey that's about to begin. Or it can be, oh, you never want to see my face again. It could be anything. That's I'm going to drum roll. No, don't yet. Not yet. I need to think. How about if I give you a beat? That might. That was what beats that. I don't know. Just a made up one. It's the new theme tune of the um, series. Oh, it's just hard, you know. I love music. I'm trying to think what I've been listening to lately. Well, recently, I really, really, my favourite song at the minute is Stick Season. No, I can't. Hard. No. Go on, sing it. No. Go on. No, play it. What's it? Stick, Stick Season. Stick Season. Yeah, you'll know it, I reckon. Do you listen to the radio? Not really. Hmm. I listen, I'm, but I'm, when I rinse a song, I like rinse it for yeah, like months and repeat. months and months. Fred again is my, uh, like, yeah, I'm, I'm that person. Was yeah. it sticks and? No, stick, season. No, I can't. So you like different music. Oh, so I'm imagining you and your dog walking into the sunset. <laughs> or just driving. It is, oh, it, driving. It is. In yeah, the driving yeah. into the sunset. Or like you stop at the first stop yeah, and you're exactly. like, we've made it. And then I bop in like, hey, and you're like, yeah. go away. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So that's what you're going to put in the playlist? Yeah, put that. Right, I'm here for it. Right, that is everything today. Thank you for being my first guest. First? Really? Well, my, my personal um, first guest. I'm honoured. How was it? Did you enjoy Brilliant. that? Yeah, great, thank you. Any final words? Can I go now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Rachel Daly, everyone! Thank you, loved it.